Postular psoriasis is a rare immune-mediated systemic skin disorder that causes postules all over the body and fever for patients. That was the case for 28-year-old Mrs. Lee, who was left bedridden due to the pain from her illness. After seeking treatment, she was able to resume a normal life within days and has not had any flare-ups since. Let's hear her story. This is Miss Lee, a 28-year-old with pustular psoriasis. Six years ago, she started developing pustules and ulcers all over her body. The simple act of walking caused her skin to tear, making it difficult for her to get around. At its worst, the disease left her bedridden and unable to work for a week. At its worst, I had pustules and red blotches all over my body, below my neck, on my abdomen, and on my lower body. Whenever I moved with clothes on, my wounds would tear up and pus and blood would start to flow. It felt as if needles were piercing me, and I felt their sting whenever I moved. The pain was so intense that taking painkillers was useless. I also had a high fever, which reached 38 to 39 degrees. After receiving a special biological therapy agent treatment, her pustules were completely eliminated within a week, and she was able to return to the workplace and live a normal life. I got a shot at the end of last year, and I haven't had a breakout yet. I haven't even had a breakout when I'm on my period. Even if I'm out in the sun, get bitten by mosquitoes, or on my period, it doesn't flare up. Generalized pustular psoriasis is a rare immune-mediated systemic skin disorder that causes pustules around the body. The disease occurs in adults aged 30 to 60 with a higher incidence in women. Typical symptoms include pustules, skin redness, and peeling, and can often be accompanied by pain, fever, and fatigue. If left untreated, it can give rise to severe complications, including heart, lung, and kidney organ failure. The main symptom of generalized postular psoriasis is acute postules on the skin. There may also be a rash and peeling skin. It may cause fever, fatigue, and even pain. The patient's lifestyle is an important factor that can prevent and control the disease. Many of our patients have genetic mutations, for example, mutations in the IL-36 gene. Postular psoriasis can also arise from drugs or pregnancy. Until recently, postular psoriasis lacked treatments tailored specifically to the disease. Doctors say advancements are being made. We found that using regular medicines to treat the disease was very difficult. It's not that the medicines were not effective. It's that very high dosages were required in order to make treatments effective. Over the past few years, we have gradually introduced biological agents, which we have found effective at treating the condition. Over this past year, we've been using drugs that can specifically target the inflammatory substance, interleukin-36, in the gene to control the disease. At present, we are drafting guidelines for shared decision-making between the doctors and the patient as well as treatment guidelines. We hope to provide patients and doctors with a better understanding of this condition so that they can better know how to treat this disease. Doctors suggest keeping an eye out for skin redness and peeling, pain, fever, and fatigue. If any such symptoms arise, patients are advised to seek medical attention for a diagnosis. FTV reporter Stephanie Yang and Hong Guo Kai in Taipei.